James Gate, thank you for watching. Bye bye. Why am I so much taller than you? Because I'm slouching. No. <laughs> I think you have a bigger core section. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. We're new couple, it newish, and uh, the whole thing is to make read questions and try to figure each other out on camera. We have questions from her mom in a sealed envelope. We've never seen them. We've never looked at them. We don't know what they are. Who is the money spender and who is the money saver? I think we're equally. We're equally. Irresponsible with funds. Yeah. But yours is more <laughs> high end. <laughs> guns, cars, computer games. Computer games, yeah. Computer and, hardware. And mine is like old pictures, ephemera. Ephemera. Yeah. If you could get rid of one of his or her possessions, what would it be? What would it... I feel like you need to go get the rose. Are we gonna cut? No. Okay. And I'm gonna explain it while you're gone. Okay. Okay. He has this rose from his ex-wife's grandmother or something that is so hideous. I would love to see that thing go. Are you blowing dust off of it, honey? Possibly. Mm -hmm. That's okay. pr that's probably a very likely thing that's happening. It's so pretty. It's on like this piece of rock. It's so, I thought she would like it because I didn't keep it from my ex because I thought she might like it, but because I just kind of <laughs> thought it was interesting. And I love metal art, but eh, just kind of kept it. It's not only <laughs> a rose, which is hideous, it's metal, uh -huh. sharp, dangerous, and then the base of it. I don't know if they were going for like a contrasty situation or what, but the rock, it's just so hideous. So that is <laughs> what she gross. would get rid of. Uh, so what would I get rid of yours? She has this like wig head holder. thing, but it, what? It's a holder. It's a wig. It's a wig holder. No. It's something I got from a thrift store that they actually used. <sighs> for displaying things Wait, and done. when they yeah it weighs it's heavy it's glass but it's glass yes it was glass yeah and then when they closed i was like are you selling that and they're like yeah it's so, glass so that would be really awesome just to build like a little holder for it and then fill it with a uh, rum drink from the skulls of my enemy <laughs> so you would get rid of that yeah. and the uh, sewing mannequin that is stored in the garage. I really wanted to put it out, but you know, whatever. Uh, we'll find room for it eventually. Who's the better cook? We haven't had a cook off yet, but we have a plan for that. Oh, yeah. We're actually going to do that. We're going to have a cook off. I'm going to cook something, she's going to cook something, and then we're going to be like, whose is better? Yeah. And like have mom judge or something. Yeah. That'll be fair. Okay, what's the last thing you argued about? Oh, that's a good one. <clears throat> Apparently the rose in the head. No, I know what it was. What? Those ugly pot holders that were probably made by your ex-wife. Ex-wife's grandma. Okay. <laughs> so, those ugly pot holders that don't match anything in the kitchen. Uh-huh. That you insist on having hung up there. Hmm. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. What percentage of housework do you each do? Um, today? Today? <laughs> like 90-10. But we try to split it. We try to split it. I do more of the heavier labor stuff and she does more of the housewifey stuff. Hmm. Um, most irritating habit. For you, finger licking. 
Kind of, and there's more to it. It's not just finger licking. It's it's whenever I make a sandwich, well, I'm like get something on my finger. Or I also spread mustard and anything else that I put on my sandwich, except for mayonnaise, with my finger, and then I'll go. <laughs> What's my most irritating habit? Leaving the cabinet doors open. Okay. And the else? shower head down. Okay. After okay. you wash. Well, if you would cook and get in the cabinets, then maybe. Huh, okay. You know, yeah. yeah. If you were in the witness protection program, what would your new name be and where would you go? Hmm. So I have to tell this story. I think I already told you at some point, but when we had this woman who was in our church and she came, she came to stay with us at our uh -huh. house and she had a little girl with her and she was like old, her name was Esther, and uh -huh. then she had like a little girl that lived with her who apparently they were in the wit witness protection program and she got to pick her own name and so her initials were JTT, like Jonathan Taylor Thomas, but her name was Jessica T. What a brilliant idea. Go into the witness protection program and then tell people that you're in the witness protection program. That kind of defeats the purpose. What would your name be? What would my name be if I were to be in the witness protection program? Mm -hmm. Be Bobby Vaughn Ooh. with a V O N. Bobby Vaughn Snurgrub. Mm -hmm. okay. Bobby Von Snorgrub Jr. And where would you Bobby go? Bobby Von Snorgrub Jr. Alabama. Alabama. Okay. And then, yeah, I don't know what my name would be. Probably something like really, like something Smith. Smith. Just super plain, like, you can't find me. Jane anyways. Smith. Jane Smith. <laughs> okay. The strangest thing, thing you've ever, ever eaten. eaten. Mine is um, probably dried squid. That's pretty bad. It's really good. Pretty bad. Oh, it's good? Yeah. What's yours? Eating dried rubber. Yummy. Mine, strangest thing I ever eat was eaten. I was in, uh, I was stationed out there. You, yeah, stationed. And, uh, trying to pay off debt. And so what I did was I uh, cooked some ramen in the microwave, and then I wanted to go a little bit more fancy. So, I added peanut butter. <laughs> oh, like to make it And like soy thai? sauce. Yeah, like, to make it like a Thai uh, oriental ramen. Was that really gross? That was horrific. <laughs> horrific. Bad. Like, don't do that. I, what what board, board game do you, do you hate? hate? What board game do you hate? Stratego. Stratego? Yeah. I'm I think I played that. Never got anyone to play right with me or something like that. What game do you hate? Honestly. Monopoly. It, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, literally Monopoly. I don't know why. We'll have to play that soon. But it's, oh god. <laughs> no. And, and there's a second one. I know people like it because it's more faster paced. Mm -hmm. Like a game will last about a half an hour. Mm -hmm. And it's called like Island Survival or something. Or Flooded Island or something like that. And literally it's like an ancient island that's come out of the ocean. And you're explorers. And you have... And you start the game, the island's not flooded. But as you play, the island floods. So you run out of room and your, your idea is to get on these tiles and make it to the helicopter pad so you can get off. I don't like it because there's not much to it. Hmm. You know, gamer, do want more in-depth stuff. Worst job you ever had. Ooh, what's yours? Because I got a story about this one. Okay, mine, the worst one I hated, honestly working as an electrician. Just hard work. And hard work outside all the time like you didn't have a choice whether you're outside or inside mm -hmm. and it's just hard work and I busted my my lower back while 
walking down some stairs that weren't finished and they were concrete stairs so they had a giant lip and then they had a valley where the concrete would go but they weren't they were just the metal lip and metal bottom and it was rainy and windy and and I slipped and I was out of work for like a week. I hate that job. So electrician. Being an electrician. My, my story is way grosser, mm -hmm. as you know. But it was Old Town Video, video store, and we had viewing rooms. Viewing booths. Yeah, and we had a large... Because what are you supposed to view yeah. in a video store? The point, take of, home. the point of the video store is to buy a movie, rent a movie, and then take it home. Yeah. So what are you watching? That's gross. Yeah, you, you couldn't take those home if you had like a wife or a girlfriend, so you'd sit well, in the Well, they don't want room. you watching <laughs> two and I would have to clean the viewing rooms after the gentleman would leave, and I found things that I should have never had to clean up. Yes, that was the worst job I ever had. Yeah, it was really bad. So Simple Green, I cannot stand the scent, smell of Simple Green anymore because that's oh, what I have to clean it up with. That's why you don't want Simple Green. Because mm. that's stuff that I used in the Navy. That stuff works so good. It works good, all the but time. The smell. Mm. I'll just still use it on my wheels. If you could trade lives with someone for a day, who would it be? Well, I'm going to keep politics out of this because, you know, I'm going to keep it neutral. But I choose somebody. But, um, you have him. <laughs> um. Because, Playboy Ranching. <laughs> I would trade lives with probably someone like normal. Um, like maybe a YouTuber or like. Your worst pet peeve, <laughs> Again, not going political. <laughs> slow drivers, but not obnoxiously slow, mm -hmm. and won't get out of the way when there's a passing lane. Those, like, wow, could be. That's what the passing lane's for. Get over, so I can go around. Yeah. Um, my worst pet peeve would probably be mouth noises, which is something you do a lot. <laughs> okay. If you were being executed, which five foods would you want for your last meal? Oh, that's a good one. Good job, Grandma. Yeah. Good job. Poor Karen. Oh, five foods. She's not really Grandma Grandma, but yeah, good job. She's more like Mom than Grandma. Yeah. Five foods. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Big slab of the juiciest, most best cooked steak. Oh. Asparagus cooked in butter with herbs. Some potatoes and maybe so sauteed potatoes with broccoli. And then a piece of lemon cheesecake. And probably a very nice bottle of... Yeah, I gotta go with beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bottle of beer. And uh, yeah. So mine would probably be like comfort food. So it would probably be... Have you ever had like gravy that's made with mushroom soup? Probably. So mashed potatoes and that gravy or rice and that gravy. Mm is all carbs and fat delicious <laughs> so that's two um i don't know did i have five yes you have I like did. six or seven yeah five <laughs> um, I don't know. and then cheesecake too when mm -hmm. i was pregnant i ate so much cheesecake but cherry cheesecake mm. um, it would be just like it would be like probably some sort of like i really like sauteed like zucchini mm -hmm. so maybe that i don't know but i mean something along something carby and fattening yeah. Mm. Okay. What's the highest level of pain you've ever experienced? One to ten. Me first? Childbirth. <laughs> where I passed out, like, yeah, yeah, where, like, the epidural didn't work. Yeah. And Dash was coming out nose and mouth first. Sunny Please. side up. Sunny, sunny side up. So, like this. <laughs> 
Exactly. That was by far the worst pain. Okay. And then next to that, uh, tooth pain, which like impacted uh, wisdom teeth. What about you? I do have been broken a few bones in my life. But the most recent one and probably the most painful one that I can remember was breaking my ankle in the Navy. Climbing down off a jet and not knowing where the uh, hook, where the chain was going from the jet landing gear into the pad eye in the cement, stepping on it, rolling my ankle into the pad eye, feeling something pop. And then I walked from the jet probably like a good maybe even a quarter mile into the shop to give my report mm -hmm. about the condition of the jet I thought I sprained my ankle and I didn't you broke it I literally there's a tendon that goes from your lower part of your foot up into your, onto the lower tip of your ankle mm -hmm. I literally had caused so much pressure and so much angle that it literally went thunk snapped off a piece of that bone and now I have a tendon just dangling in my foot mm. and the only solution is surgery so I just be careful what would you do with a million dollars question too car <laughs> yeah but what, what car? else no not what car what else <laughs> depends on the car <laughs> Jaguar E-Type. <laughs> Good luck finding one of those under a million. <laughs> or, or I'd take the million dollars and build myself my own go-kart track. Wow. Personal go-kart track. Yes, it's selfish. Whatever. It's a million dollars. It's a fictional question. Okay. So what I would do with a million dollars, pay off both of our debt, mm -hmm. um, buy a nice house mm -hmm. on the coast, Mm -hmm. Um, I have both reasonable vehicles, new mm -hmm. vehicles, something like that. Put a little cool. back in savings if we truly bought reasonable vehicles. Cool. Yeah. Jaguar E-Type and a go-kart track. Um, what's your favorite smell? Hops number nine gun oil. Okay. But that... Mm. I like the smell of tar, like, like, oh, yeah, gasoline, tar. Gas. Gas is one of my favorite, too. One thing that either men or women do that grosses you out. Yeah. Can I go first? Picking your boogers and eating it. <laughs> kind Insert of. Insert clip. But not here. really. <laughs> Oh, there goes the pig. <laughs> okay, so I think I did a pretty good job just saying. Close your eyes and then do a little pose. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I worked as a janitor in a school. <clears throat> Women in bathroom are just nasty anyway. And that brings me to my bathroom story. Okay, there you which go. Which is actually my ex's bathroom story. Which, um,. In the women's bathroom, mm -hmm. there was a pile of poop on the ground, and then someone had stuck nickels all in the poop. So, both men and women can be gross in different ways, but women can be especially gross with that sort of thing. What word do you hope people use to describe you when you die? Obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> Honorable. 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 Um, Brave. said one word but you know <laughs> um i would say kind yeah um well you are kind so thanks <laughs> who would you hate to see naked who <laughs> i know right away hillary clinton god god okay <clears throat> okay let's stop um okay so i'm gonna go now 
Mine would be, there's this guy, I'm not going to bleep off the name, but his name is... Uh-huh. Um, just that's... You're just going to go there. I can't talk anymore about it. Ew. Okay. What would you, would you let me slap you for $100? Fuck yeah. I think it's... Slap me. And then you get $100 and I get $100. So we're even. Yeah. Slap me. That wasn't a hundred dollars worth, but I can't do anything else. Okay. Daddy taught me right. Okay. What's the weirdest dream you've ever had? Ooh. I know. Okay. I had this dream where I was pulling my hair out, like strand by strand, and I didn't have many. And every time I'd pull one out, a um, like a slimy clove of garlic would be the root. <laughs> and then there was big holes in my head. It was so god awful. I still think about it today. Okay, go ahead. What was yours? I was in a house, and throughout this house was literally like a pulsating organic tube or vein or something, mm -hmm. and it had like micro veins on it, but it was massive. It filled up doorways, so you couldn't actually walk near it, but it was literally throughout the entire place of this giant vein, like the entire underground had become a monster or something and like the vein and this tentacle weird thing and it was translucent and red and just absolutely disgusting and it was all throughout this like two-story house and i started had to start at the top and in my dream i had to walk past this thing to get out of the house Ew. and i still have no idea what the hell that means <laughs> probably something really screwed up um, the first CD you ever got? Mine was Disco. Mm -hmm. Disco? Mm -hmm. You don't remember the actual album? It was or like who it was? 70s Disco. Literally best. just said 70s <laughs> Disco. <laughs> like the best of, yeah, whatever. Um, what about you? So ZZ Top Antenna, because I actually got a CD player. And I was like, well, I need a CD player, a CD now. And Dad was like, here. Here's some ZZ Top. And I was like, yeah. What's the greatest strength in our relationship? Understanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And acceptance. Yeah. Hmm? yeah. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed. Oh, that's, that's it. That's it. Yay. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. Those were actually pretty good. Yeah. Like, really good. Like, a way, lot. I like those a lot. Way better than the last one. Way ones. better. Yeah. I'm going to finish my almond milk, chocolate almond milk, because I'm vegetarian. Okay. Uh, wait. I can't burp. Ooh, your blackhead. <laughs>